is based on a true story. Names have not been changed to protect the innocent or the guilty. I present Thomas Blake. used to do before TV. <laughs> Walking along, all by themselves. Again, it was the autumn of the year, nice and crisp in North Florida. They were walking along, no big deal. Or in the distance, Uncle Walt noticed someone was walking toward them. Again, not a big deal. Kind of strange because he was alone. You didn't really want to be alone out there because of the bears and the foxes, the wildcats. I've seen the foxes there. You don't want to be alone. Now, Walt was with Milt. He wasn't alone. But again, far in the distance, and Walt did notice that this person had a gun, which is fine. So maybe he was a, a hunter. That would make sense. Uncle Walt's trying to make sense of this person walking toward him. They keep talking about their day. Again, they're brothers. And there's a lot to talk about with their brothers, believe me. One was my stepdad. As a man got closer, Uncle Walt noticed he was wearing a uniform, a soldier's uniform. But it wasn't a modern day uniform. It was a Confederate uniform. Like these pictures here. Real Confederate uniform from real Confederate people. <laughs> <laughs> now, this was a little bit strange. He did have a gun, but you know, a, a hunter carries his gun like this. But this guy had his gun like this, and he was marching forward. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> so Uncle Walt and Milton keep walking. As he got closer, Uncle Walt, hello, how you doing? No response. Mm -hmm. Just an icy stare as he was marching toward them. 
You notice in these pictures, the photography at the time really didn't capture the soul of a person because photography was in its infancy. Just an icy cold, soulless stare. And that's what Uncle Walt saw in this man walking towards them. No blinking, no blinking. Just an icy cold stare as he marched towards them. Hello! Hello! Kept on marching. He was marching down the rut that Milton was in. Now, Walt was a big guy. Not big guy, muscular guy. This guy keeps walking toward Milton. He gets closer. So if I'm here, if he was about there, he said again, what are you doing? What do you think this guy did? He kept marching. So finally, when he was very close, Uncle Walt put out his arm to protect his father, swiped it. The soldier was gone. Oh, wow. This is a true story. Now, Uncle Walt was a little crazy, <laughs> but I truly believe that this story is true. Uncle Walt literally ran into a Confederate soldier marching on that crisp autumn evening. Now, with that swish or swoop, he was gone. But in my mind, that soldier's still marching. He's going home. He hasn't gotten there yet. But he's still marching. <coughs> Are you scared? <laughs> Is this the fear you can hear? <laughs> this was a true story by a crazy person, but still a true story. So I hope it has aroused your emotion this Halloween day. You're fearful. Mm -hmm. And if you get a trick-or-treater who's dressed up as a reb, <laughs> be careful and be sure to <laughs> Thank you so much.